Hi guys! It's been a while, hasn't it? I'm so sorry for being gone for so long. Um, ooh, before anything else, I want to address that nasty stain there that you see on the fireplace. So sorry, I never really noticed that when, you know, I'm living my life because I strategically put this plant to cover it. So, I apologize, do your best to ignore it. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I like doing, um, making videos of my plants, their progress. Um, so if you're interested in that kind of stuff, please do subscribe. Anyway, guys, as I was saying, I'm sorry I've been gone for so long. Last year, I went on vacation for two weeks and I did all of these self-watering hacks that I thought were gonna work but failed and so I came home to a bunch of crispy babies that I just could not revive. So it took a while for me to kind of get over that and then life just happened so please forgive me. Let's let that bygone be a bygone or however that phrase goes. I'm here now, that's what's important and I want to tell you guys about how my surviving plants have been doing. So if you're a novice plant owner and you're looking for the types of plants that like a little bit of neglect, these are it. They've been tried and true, they've been put to the test, and they're still alive and kicking, especially this one. This is my rubber plant, or one of my few rubber plants actually. It's a variegated variety. I don't know if it's a tricolor because I can see a little bit of pink wanting to appear on that leaf there, but I don't know. Maybe as it gets sunnier, as we enter in maybe the summer or later into the spring, but look how it, it'll, it'll be more pink. Sorry, I got distracted, but look at that beautiful pattern. Um, I love variegated plants and I don't have too many of them so this is probably the star of my plant family. It's grown uh, quite a bit. I don't water this too often. In fact, I used to take it to the sink and allowed the um, sprinkler attachment to just run for a few minutes, but that caused a huge cloggage in our kitchen sink and so I had to stop doing that because we had to call a plumber. Yikes. Here we have my prayer plant. It continues to pray for its mama and all her sins. But I actually um, divided this last year into two pots. So I'm going to show you in a minute where the other one is. Um, so I'm going to try to show you. I didn't move any of the plants because I want you guys to see where they are in my home. Um, so you can get a better idea of how much light they're actually getting. And this one is loving where it is now. You can see there um, it's a new leaf that's about to unfurl. It doesn't, it's not a very picky plant. I know that it likes to get watered um, once a week, but other than that, it doesn't really give me any trouble. Um, I'm still deciding on whether or not I should put this in a bigger plant. Um, soon because it's still continuing to grow and I think one of the signs that a plant needs to be repotted is when they're not growing anymore but this is continuing to give me new leaves it's so much bigger than what it was I'll be sure to give an update here's another new leaf that is about to unfurl they're so beautiful I love the pattern and texture of this leaf it's it's very soft and velvety to the touch here, right next to those two plants, is my um, arrowhead or my nephthitis plant. I forget what the um, official name is, but this too has kind of um, a bit of a uh, like a velvety feel to it. It's it's a beautiful plant. It's not. It's very low maintenance. All these plants that you've seen so far are very low maintenance. I do notice that it tends to want to lean into the direction of, of where the light is coming, which happens with a lot of plants. And for a while I was kind of rotating it, 
but um, I'm wanting this plant to kind of trail so I'm just leaving it alone and leaving it there and allowing it to just do its thing but this is a very um, low maintenance plant it does like moderate light look at how green those new leaves are coming in but it it's also got a bit of a pattern um, I think once the camera focuses here it's not just like a flat green and like I say the the texture of the plants is really um, velvety or almost like suede I would say but yeah I got this actually I've repotted this once already um, when I first got this plant it was in a four inch pot and the roots were super gnarly they were growing out of the bottom and in fact this one is also kind of rooting out of the bottom so I'm not sure maybe I'll repot this I try not to repot my plants too often because it really disrupts the roots and I don't know I don't I want it to kind of finish growing to its full potential before I move it again but yeah like I say very low maintenance plant um, I love it it's beautiful so these are the three here that um, are in this little corner uh, opposite wall to this is um, I have two big windows and a sliding door so it gets most of the Sun um, during the day and my my windows are east facing so they get a good amount of light not necessarily direct light um, but a pretty good amount and here we have my um, Dracaena or more commonly known as the dragon tree plant it's a beautiful plant but I don't know what I've been doing wrong over the last year or so because I've noticed that its growth rate has significantly declined um, and it's not it lost a lot of its like it used to be like BAM here I am here are all my beautiful spiky leaves then all of a sudden it just kinda like you know had a bunch of them fall and brown up which I know is normal um, for older leaves but I don't know here I even cut one and I'll show you where the other cutting is now but um, about a year and a half ago I took a cutting from it and it miraculously grew an additional um, head I don't know <laughs> what else to call it but it continued to grow it's as healthy as the other ones are I just I can't really put my finger on it I feel like something is wrong with it because it used to have a lot more um, like a bushier head of leaves I don't know how to describe it but I mean I guess it's okay it's pretty good it's a beautiful tricolor um, Dracaena and um, I just hope that you know it gets better or it bounces back from whatever it's uh, going sprouting or suffering from if if it is at all maybe it's just dormant because of the um, winter seasons but if you see the close-up of the leaves here it's got that beautiful pink or blush um, color on the outer edges with the beautiful stripe of I guess a cream color um, mixed in there with the green but I love this plant I took a cutting it rooted I planted it um, the cutting is not doing so well and I'll show you that here in a minute it's getting a lot more light than this one but I don't think that's the cause of why it's not doing as well so right above that on my fireplace mantle I have a few um, tiny two inch pots of my I forget what type of pepperonia this is but I believe the common name is like a pixie lime pepperomia and I bought this this actually used to be in um, was it in a one one two inch pot I forget I'll have to do a an update video on this particular plant but I separated this um, last spring into these three and they desperately need to be 
uh, repotted as you can see here um, it's been growing pretty well sometimes some of the leaves kind of get crispy brown um, almost black even and just kind of fall off but it's continued to um, show evidence of more growth so I'm not too concerned about the leaves falling off the texture of this plant I love to touch all my plants um, <laughs> but it's very soft it's almost like a um, like a makeup sponge and just behind that I have yet another peperomia I love peperomias there are over 200 varieties I believe um, and so this one right here I've got on this cool little stand isn't that neat I think I got it at Marshall's for like five bucks or something but anyway this one is a tricolor obtusifolia um, and I have the other, I have another kind, another obtusifolia that I'll show you later in the video. But this is a very um, low maintenance plant. It does not like a lot of light. Um, I had to move it recently because it was getting direct sunlight and I think it didn't, it really didn't like it there and it wasn't growing very much. So that's why you see my other pixie lime pepperoni is kind of tucked away behind my TV there um, because I don't like a lot of light. Um, this can literally thrive in an office environment that doesn't have, um, that doesn't get a lot of natural light. So this is a beautiful plant. It's kind of sitting there wonky in this pot because I have it sitting on top of a lot of rocks that um, allow the water to drain if I were to get heavy-handed. So this next plant is um, turning out to be somewhat of a disaster. Um, I think I know what I need to do with it. So <laughs> this is one of my two spider plants that I got from one of my coworkers' cuttings um, a couple of years ago and it went through a whole growing season doing fantastically. It even grew out a bunch of these, uh, I don't know what you call those, you know like the shootings? No, I don't know, but you can see here that the leaves are not doing well. They're kind of flat. It doesn't have the life it had um, even just a year ago. Um, and I suspect it's because, see like this, like one of these things, these vines, but see that one that's just like given up on its life and is just turned brown and wanting to just die off. So last season, last spring, it had so many beautiful flowers, which were actually a little bit annoying because they would bloom for a day and then immediately fall off the next. And um, that's pretty typical because it was blooming for the entire like spring and summer season last year. And so I had to keep sweeping it every day and it just got super messy. But look how flat it is. It's like, this could almost be like a shampoo commercial, like how do you revive that to give it some volume? I suspect it's because I need to um, repot it. The roots are probably completely, it's probably completely root bound in there and it needs just needs to have new soil. But here I'm trying to show you what the aerial roots look like on all of these babies that have um, sprouted up. So if you put it in water, it's going to um, grow uh, longer roots like you see here. And um, it'll grow quite a bit and you can probably keep it in water for a very long time. But um, I wouldn't recommend you do it for too long because it'll get used to being in water and it won't know how to acclimate itself in in dirt, at least that's what I found with my pothos plant that um, I've been keeping in water for well over a year now. So I'll show you that later in this video. But yeah, it's doing pretty well um, right here. Okay guys, here we have, let me pull back the curtain that is my spider plant. Surprise, surprise, we have yet another peperomia. This one is like the ripple leaf, evergreen ripple leaf or something like that. Um, I'm not sure what the official name is, but um, I think the type of soil that this is in is not appropriate for this plant because I've noticed that it's, um, so this is a, a baby that I harvested from a different four inch plant a couple of years ago, um, but it's got a beautiful texture on its leaf, very, um, 
it's like raised uh, it's got like an embossed pattern um, but I think the soil is a little bit too like it the moisture drains too easily I'm wondering so I'm very much looking forward to repotting a bunch of my plants so also on this table, I keep my cuttings, uh, my pothos cuttings that I've had in water for well over a year now. And I'm gonna do a separate video on how they've been doing. I have one that's been doing um, really well, um, and I'll show you that towards the end of the video. Um, but like I said, some of the roots get really acclimated to the environment of the water and being in water and I'm afraid that when I finally put these in soil it's not going to do very well. Um, most of the pl uh, the cuttings that I've placed in water haven't been doing really well anyway so this is the time for me to finally move them in some soil. It's also starting to get really annoying to keep changing the water um, about once a week. I have about five different um, bottles that I keep these cuttings in, so it's time, guys. Like I say, um, I'm gonna need to do a separate video on that one because I think it warrants a whole entire video on its own. Here we have yet again another variegated um, plant. This one is also a um, obtusifolia. It's another type of peperomia. You guys are going to think I'm a big liar because I told you I didn't have a whole lot of variegated plants. Well, there you go. You got me. What I'm trying to show you here is this like weird moldy stuff that's growing on top of the soil. Um, I noticed that with a lot of my other plants, so we'll have to see when I repot it later um, this month to see if that goes away. But here I have another rubber plant. It's of the plain green variety, and this can attest to how robust and um, how robust this plant is because given the very poor conditions of the soil that it's in, it's still given me a lot of um, growth since I've gotten it and um, so right next to it here is my aloe plant farm yikes so guys the reason for the damage that you see here on these um, leaves is because the mama plant was growing out of control and it was actually leaning on top of all these little babies that you see growing here and so I had to cut a couple of them off and I made myself a nice um, face mask and hair mask with a bunch of the um, leaves that I harvested from the mama plant see you can see here where I had to cut it because those leaves were very thick very juicy and it had a lot of aloe vera gel inside for me to harvest and so that's what happened there I really need to repot this as you can see and put it in I have another cutting that I took about a year ago and it's doing really well that itself needs a bit of repotting um, this is doing great I'm really shocked because I don't do very well with um, succulents but this has just thrived surprisingly all right guys I am gonna cut this video off here I really did not realize um, how long it was gonna take for me to get through just one corner of my house it's a little bit embarrassing but um, yeah we'll end it here there's a couple more plants on top of the shelf above this little side table here I want to show you the type of light it gets. This window is northeast facing, so it gets a pretty decent amount of light. Um, if you haven't already, guys, please subscribe and let me know if you like the kind of videos that I've been making so far. I promise I will deliver on a lot of those progress videos that I've been intending to make over the past few months. Um, but I've kind of been lagging on that. So guys, happy Sunday. Have a wonderful week and good luck with all of your Botana babies. Let me know how yours are doing and maybe we can commiserate together on some of the challenges we're experiencing. Bye guys. See you next time.